just for a timeline, this is after the original placement at, at, at our at its first home. So we've went to its first home after hours again. <laughs> been there for probably back, a week. Been there for a week or so. We're pulling it back now. Having another late night. And another. just kind of a little, just so you guys know what's happening. This, the main thing we're working on right now in this video is um, getting it set up to where the cooler can run all night without generator power. So what we're doing is we're putting in a battery bank with a power inverter so that basically takes 12 volts and converts it to 120 volts and it's a big enough battery that it'll hold that cooler all night. Um, we wanted to do two coolers, a cooler and a freezer, I and mean, these are full-size commercial coolers and freezers, um, but it, it won't quite make it all the way through the night on two. So if we want to do two, we're going to have to put in another one of these batteries, and the batteries are quite pricey. So, But anyhow, what we're doing tonight is we're getting the uh, cooler set up to run without generator power. All right, well this is gonna be, I don't have a name for it yet. Sorry, I'm tired. But this is what we're gonna use to uh, try to service Brewster in place. So we're gonna try to pump, we're not gonna dry, we're gonna pump the waste into this big tank uh, that's already on here. And then I'm gonna rig up some saddle tanks that we're gonna to use to fill the fresh water. He could pump the waste on it 15 times with this thing, um, and he's only gonna be able to add water to it once. So um, he'll have to fill the water on the regular, but he can probably dump the waste tank once in a while. Uh, we're gonna to try to keep the waste far away from the fresh water fill and stuff like that, obvious, for obvious reasons. Even though the waste is nothing that bad, it's just got some water and cream, but bring that over here so I can look at it. And uh, this was my first test and I'm passing it. I'm not saving any of that. It's all going in the garbage can. I'm not starting any new piles. This might be a little icky. I've caught a whiff a couple times here.
We just went and spent $300 on pipe fittings. I, it's getting ridiculous, man.